So what was the pull request? And it was Arch Titus. And Arch Titus is something I made basically Arch Linux easy. And there's a bunch of different Arch Linux installers. So when I made my script originally, it was just to make it so you could install it as quickly as possible. I made like a four minute install video. And then I did a full blown, hey, this is every customization I do to my Arch Linux instance. Uh, and, you know, after looking at all of that, someone took all of those and just combined it into one simple pull request and then made everything interactable and then made it so streamlined that you just do a couple options and then walk away for five to 10 minutes. Uh, or if you're doing the minimal install, you, you walk away for maybe one or two minutes, you know, go check uh, your email and then pop back in here and it'll be done. So let's do this install script real fast just so you can see all these improvements made. Uh, but before I do that, the person that is responsible for this commit is Austin here. This man is amazing. I am extremely impressed by it. Like I said, one of the best pull requests I've ever gotten. So what you're seeing here, these improvements, is really the power of open source. A lot of people say, hey, why don't you close source some of your stuff, uh, specifically like my Windows 10 script and, and those types of things. And I like to leave all that open source because you just never know when a genius like this comes along and wants to contribute to your project, and then you get something even better than anything I could produce. So with that, let's install this script and uh, get on our, uh, we'll boot into Arch Linux installer and then run it and uh, show you these improvements. All right, here we go, old Arch Linux. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with Arch Linux install, it's just a CLI-based install, and it's all done usually manually using the wiki. The whole point, purpose of this project was to make it automated. Uh, so the first thing we do is just do a pacman sy get. This just grabs it so we can grab this project into the vanilla Arch installer and then run it. With that done, we'll just do a git clone. With that cloned, we will cd into that directory and then launch Arch Titus. Now this is where all the improvements come into play. So we'll just put Titus for the username, our password, host name, we'll just put it uh, Arch Titus PC. And then this is some of the improvements that were made by Austin here. We have all the different desktop environments we want. Uh, I'm just gonna go with server today, meaning it's not gonna take very long to install, but it's just a bare minimal install with just CLI support. But if you want KDE, GNOME, all the different desktop environments that Linux offers, you can now select it there. And then it just selects, hey, what disk do you want to use? We'll use this one. Is this a SSD? Uh, this one is not an SSD, so we'll say no. And better FS is usually what I like to do. You notice how everything is selectable with just the keyboard. No more typing stuff in. Uh, so they made it just, I mean, kudos to him, man. He, he did such a good job of taking my script, better organizing the actual structure, the file structure of it, adding packages. So if you want to change things up in the script, fork it, do it. And uh, the beauty of it is... It already has 700 and something forks. Uh, so, so many people have already taken this project and made it their own. But now with a lot of these other improvements made by Austin and, and many others too, not here, there's a lot of other small improvements that have been made uh, by others that uh, not. But the bulk of a lot of these changes were made by Austin. And I am just extremely impressed by it. All right, and there we go. Now you can see I, I shaved a good minute off of the server install. Uh, with this new update, mainly because we're no longer doing like the AUR because a minimal install really from server doesn't really require that. So we were able to shave about another minute off. So that four minute install now went down to about a two to three minute depending on your hardware. And that is basically the install for the minimal server install. But if you look at like the package files here, you can see all the different ones here. If you want to add certain things to it, like if you choose Budgie or you choose KDE, you can see all the packages that are chosen and then add to it. So if you fork this and, and want to make it your own, you totally can just using the script. KDE is the one I typically use. And on this script, there's actually two versions of KDE. There's my customized version, which has a whole bunch of stuff from the AUR and everything, or the more minimal version. Uh, again, just arrow over and hit install to those. So this actually works a lot better now uh, where before, you know, it was, it was kind of like I had different branches and I structured it 
pretty poorly. Now everything's in its own scripts directory. Everything's in its own package to file directory with a nice interactive uh, selectable GUI, which is nice, well, or kind of GUI. It's on the CLI, but you get the point. And everything is just very, very well done. And it taught me a lot. Uh, just by doing this uh, this merge, which has been fantastic. And I just did it a couple hours ago. Probably by the time you see this video, it's maybe a day or two. But uh, fantastic uh, update and why open source is just so amazing. Uh, I'm also about to do a massive update to my Windows 10 script uh, or my Windows toolbox. It's actually Windows 11 and 10. A lot of people always ask me that. I got some extra pull requests, other stuff to, to, to fix over uh, almost 100 issues over here. So I will be working on this coming up. Uh, keep adding to it. The next big thing with this project is a complete GUI overhaul, probably switching from WinForms to WPF, which is a whole different thing to make it look pretty and basically make it better than any closed source Windows application in existence. Uh, that's a bit of a, a tall order, but we'll get it done. <laughs> so with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. And with that, uh, a big shout out to everyone that helps me do these videos. Uh, all the ChrisTitus.com members, uh, people that hit the join button down below from YouTube. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.